that just a tattoo that you're just like spur of the moment. I'm like, yeah, that, that, that I want that. Is that what it's, I don't, I don't, I don't know the terminology, I guess. Pre-drawn off the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. From the book. Ah, okay. Never thought of something I'd want forever, but also my grandfather had a few tattoos, and they did not age well. Yeah, my folks don't have any tattoos either. My brother, my older brother does, my younger brother does not, I do not. It's got almost a satiny look to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. That satiny kind of feel to it. It's very cool. I have a ship, and some guy I worked out with bought, brought in a picture of his dad's 50-year-old tattoo. It's line for line, the same ship. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. I guess, is that the downside of picking a flash tattoo? <laughs> I thought about having my kids' initials put inside the, the, the two bands, like here on the finger. I thought about like an, an X in the middle, a D, and a G for my kids. Weird. Uh, I thought that might be nice. But again, not, not a huge, not a huge tattoo. And most tattoo artists don't want to like do that little amount of work. On my chest does, uh, does really need to be redone. That one I've had since I was 18. It's over 30 years ago. Wow. Eh, on the one hand, I didn't pick a flash tattoo. I just asked for a ship and thought it was an original. But on the other hand, it's kind of historic. Ah, I gotcha. Was it from a guy who was like 90 years old and that's why it was the exact same tattoo? <laughs> yeah. Also, which way around would you have the letters for you to read or for others to read? So if I'm holding my hand up like this so I could read them. But the, the thing is, is do I go X, D, G, or do I do X in the middle, because he's the first, then D and G? See, I don't know. I think the X would look better in the center. Uh, get them done as an ambigram so they can be read both. Well, X is pretty universal. <laughs> A bully stabbed me with a pen once, and the ink is still there. I have to. I have that too. I've got it right here. I kept stabbing myself in the hand accidentally with a pencil, so I got like seven dots there from the same thing. I was my own bully. So, all right. I think we do one more thicker layer here, and then it will really start to be rocking and rolling. It's still big blue. That's nice. It's a lot cheaper when you stab tattoo yourself, though. <laughs> Absolutely. That doesn't look bad. Especially when we get some color in it. This is the same client commissioned the Aureus sculpt. Nope, nope. This is a different person who saw the Aureus sculpt 
and then was like, yeah, I'd like to have this other version of it. And then she's waited over a year. <laughs> so I'm like, let's get it done. Actually, she was like, let's get it done. <laughs> it's uh, for uh, Spring Fox, who's sometimes in the, sh in the chat. Oh, and by the way, the number one item we don't mind spending top dollar for is toilet paper. Okay, let me go put this in the oven with the tree just so that I know they'll stick together when I'm done. I'll turn on the lights this time. Paul did not turn on the lights, by the way. Turn on one of the lights. <laughs> washing the hands, washing the hands. kids. I think I'm going to call it so that I can go get those parts so that I can make that book later today. Early COVID. The toilet